Okay, so the project continues. I have the boat off the trailer now. And my plan is to um, do some maintenance on this trailer, which I think is probably, for the most part, all original, 2004. I have to uh, wire it up and put some new lights on it, as well as I want to replace the springs. Okay, they, uh, they they don't really last very long, unfortunately. And these look like they could be original. They're pretty rusty. And um, I'm going to replace them. I think I can probably do it for under 200 bucks. Ooh, that was a job getting those springs off I'm gonna show you what they really look like now now I probably could have got a couple years out of these but they're pretty well rusted and uh, just want to start fresh I'll have much better feeling out on the highway and so I've just kind of got the trailer propped up so when I go to install it'll just make it that much easier. Alright, so i um, just going to give you a quick update on my new suspension. I went ahead and installed it and uh, basically wanted to show you what I did. Um, of course I took all the old stuff off, um, which was pretty badly rusted and um, the new stuff went on pretty easily so basically you want to put the um, the nuts on the inside just kind of gives it a cleaner look from the outside and and these here I reused these plates um, got new u-bolts and um, for doing both sides total was $115 and that included tax um, good thing to do is put some heavy grease um, when you're putting these things on just makes it easier to tighten them up and then I sprayed a, 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 a corrosion uh, resistant spray all over everything just to try to slow down any kind of a you know any kind of rust forming I also had spray, spray painted these black when you get them typically they come with a very thin layer of black paint well what I did was um, I had some leftover black paint and I just resprayed them gave them a little extra layer of protection as well 
So now I'm working on the lights and um, that's a whole nother process. The lights, um, I checked out the wiring and because I was going to try to uh, salvage it. And um, so I ended up taking this thing off here and um, I had to use some PB blaster and uh, try and get those. I was actually surprised that I got those loosened up. And uh, so I'm going to pull some new wire through here. So anyway, yeah, these lights, you know, they, the connections have gone bad. They've gone bad. And I don't even like these, these metal kind of things attached to the back here. Actually, I think this one was, was, was kind of there like that. Okay. So I've taken those off, uh, which left me with the wiring. So what I did, I attached this... Um, I don't know, 60 pound, 40 pound, 60 pound mono there, right? Did the same to the other side. Okay, so now the marker lights, okay, right here, they're gonna be replaced. The wire went underneath here, up to the back, and through this hole, and I put, attached some line there, right? Come all the way up to the front, See, here's the line coming through all the way up here to where I have these things now totally pulled through. It's just now mono. There's going to be my pull lines to pull the fresh wire down in. But I wanted to do it this way so I could actually see, you know, what was going on and where the attachment points were because I'm going to use this old wire as a guide because um, they actually had kind of see if I can find it here it kind of stripped like this one side well it's kind of a mess right now but I think you'll figure out what I'm talking about here um, where they kind of peeled the brown wire off and then they had this kind of jumper line which went to the marker light okay so I'm gonna try to recreate that um, It'll give it a cleaner look. The line, all the wire will be in, actually inside the trailer, and uh, I'll let you know. I'll let you know how that goes. The wind is cranking. Hopefully, you're not getting too much wind noise.
All right, quick little update here with the uh, 17 foot skiff project, refurbish, uh, whatever. So I've got my, uh, my wiring pretty much done. Now I'm in a cleanup process of where I'm kind of zip tying and adding some loom. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, um, what I decided to do with this. Okay, so I've got these uh, these pipe lights. Now these are not the same kind of pipe light that I have on my Contender boat trailer. These are actually probably a cheaper version. And um, so what I wanted to show you is this here, this um, connection. And, and basically the how these these are soldered in here with a um, a sleeve so when you heat it up the solder melts around the wires and fuses them together and then they kind of seals and then what I did was I added another heat shrink tube to just give it a little extra got a little warm there give it a little extra um, water uh, waterproof ability we'll see how long that lasts um, trailer lights are always something that fail and I think that's why I decided to put the lights up and out of the water so maybe the lights will last longer and I've, as you can see I've got a ton of extra wire here that's going to go up inside right up in this area so that um, my connections can be up here maybe a little bit further out of the water and uh, when they fail I'll have enough wire there I can just kind of trim and reconnect and keep going so Okay, now I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like all cleaned up, wired up with, uh, well, the best I could do anyway. So I've got my ground right there, and that's corrosion resistant blaster stuff. This is on a four way flat there. It's one of my LED marker lights which wasn't even on the front of this when I got it. Second one there. And now here's all the wiring in the back cleaned up. And that's it, lit up. Put in three, a new bar back there. Same here. Just gives it a cleaner look. Okay, I, tr I treated all my grounds with uh, a corrosion resistant spray and um, to try to seal out as much of the salt water as possible. I'm going to show you what I used. Okay, now first I did use this Quicksilver Corrosion Guard. And that stuff, um, when you'd spray it on, it would leave a tacky film on there. And it seems pretty good. And then I just happened to be over at Home Depot and I saw this blaster heavy-duty corrosion stop now when you spray that on it leaves a thicker kind of greasy film on there I don't know which will last longer but the blaster was just over five dollars with tax I think the Quicksilver stuff is probably going to be more expensive um, but either way it, I put both the stuff on there and um, if you're attaching a ground anywhere on your trailer, you're going to want to treat it with something, whether it be, you know, like a grease or something like this. But I imagine I'll have to probably put this stuff on, you know, two or three times a year. It'll probably wash off after a few dunkings in the water. Um, but grounds are so important when it comes to trailer lighting because it's usually the first cause of failure. So, um, something to think about.
if you're going to rewire your trailer and install new lights.